you know someone knows something, call Crime Stoppers and, and please get us that information that can help further our investigation. Well, if you see something, say something. It's a plea you often hear from city and police leaders to help them fight back and solve crimes. That's right, Zella, but one grieving family says those leaders need to do more to make witnesses feel safe. WDSU investigates Emily, Emily Lane explains in fear of coming forward. July 17th of last year, 28 year old Chantrell Reese was shot and killed outside her home in Algiers by a man in a ski mask. Reese had been cooperating with police in a murder case, the April 2019 killing of Jamonte Johnson Sr. A woman is killed trying to be a hero and left three children behind without a mother. That is unacceptable. Johnson's relative says she thinks about Reese every day. WDSU is not naming the relative or showing her face for safety reasons. I think about how she had to be tormented with the decision of coming forward. Johnson's family hopes their story will push leaders to do more for crime witnesses and victims who are often one and the same. They have to up their victim assistance funds. They have to up their victim, victim assistance process. If it's a situation of, of manpower, then we need to advocate for some manpower. Bridesha Parker of Central City works on the ground to resolve disputes that could lead to gun violence. The streets know what happened, but a lot of us won't won't speak up because we don't feel protected. Parker says the street policy of don't snitch is rooted in fear of retaliation as well as entanglement with the justice system. In our communities, we don't trust NOPD. We don't trust our city officials. So it's not just a matter of people being scared or anxious about the perpetrator of crime. But we also have to have a real conversation about people being scared and anxious about how people, victims, survivors, and defendants have been treated uh, by the criminal legal system here in the city of New Orleans. NOPD is making some headway to regain public trust. A New Orleans Crime Commission survey found more than half the public believe the police are doing a satisfactory job. But the same survey found just over a third of black residents gave police high marks for integrity and professionalism. That's compared to 43% of white residents. We've been putting those things in place to rebuild trust. DA Jason Williams says his office aims to earn back lost trust through fair prosecutions, correcting unjust convictions and sentences, and not charging defendants as habitual offenders. So that I can go out in community with mothers who are still waiting uh, uh, to, uh, for, for, for someone to come forward uh, and give information about the person that killed their sons or daughters, right? And I can say, choose a side. I can say, when you are quiet, you are choosing a side. You're actually picking the side of the person who fired the bullet. James Jefferson, who was accused of killing Jamonte Johnson, is scheduled to go on trial September 20th. His lawyer, Michael Kennedy, says Jefferson and the deceased witness, Chantrell Reese, have children together. He says Jefferson was in jail at the time of Reese's murder and had nothing to do with it. Some justice somewhere needs to happen uh, for her as well as Jamonte. There's been no arrest in Reese's murder. It's an open case. We have not received information from the NOPD yet connecting uh, uh, one homicide to the other. Williams says Reese did what he and city leaders are asking others to do. She chose a side. Johnson's relatives say they worry about damage to the case against his alleged killer as a result of Reese's murder. They also worry about her legacy. I don't feel like she should be forgotten. If attention is not brought to this situation, then her statement and her gesture of being a good Samaritan and a hero will be in vain. For WDSU Investigates, I'm Emily Lane. And tomorrow at six, part two of our series, Fear of Coming Forward. The DA is urging scared witnesses to come forward. However, people are saying he and the city need to step up with protection and more support.